Well, hey there, folks. It's your old buddy Shadefire here, and today we're gonna hunt us a big fucking snake. This is episode four. Uh, as I said, we're gonna go avenge Richard's death, but first, of course, we gotta get rid of our ink ribbons. Uh, we'll keep the lighter with us because we need it to light up that one little room. And do we need anything else? Hmm. Oh, we've got all our ammo and gun. And we'll take another thing of herbs in case I fuck up grandly. question is, how do we get back to that room? I know it's on the right side of the mansion on the second floor. And, okay, we're on the right side. think we cleared all the zombies out of this hallway, though. Alright, so it is... actually... Hmm. Alright, it's on the bottom there. So we're gonna have to run all the way around. Richard's still very dead. And I believe if we use the lighter back behind here, we should get some ammo? I hope it's ammo, because we don't really have space to carry anything else. All oh, right, got to. Uh... Oh, Jill is trying to push it away from the door. We gotta light this candle here. Acid rounds. We don't need those. Is that it? Acid rounds are actually one of the better grenade types, but still. They don't help us right now, since we still haven't found a grenade launcher. Alright, Snake. It's just me and you, know. We're gonna take this sucker down, and hopefully not get poisoned. So this right here is Yawn. Yawn is a big, poisonous snake. One of the few things we've seen so far that's been specifically bred as a bioweapon. Alright, we can't pick that up, but we're dying anyway, so we can just drop that.
It's kind of hard not to get hit by him, because in the time it takes to shoot, he can hit you again. And he has pretty long range with that swipe. Yep. We done got eight. Alright, now let's do better. Now contrary to what I actually said, we don't have to kill the yawn, and in fact you can't really kill it in that one spot. All we really need to do is get the crest out of this room. Preferably without getting poisoned. Stuck on the We could waste a bunch of ammo fighting him, but honestly, there's not much point. And now we're poisoned too. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. I'm not sure who she's talking to when she says that. So luckily it doesn't actually make us run back here to the serum room. Barry apparently picked us up, left us here, and then ran off. Alright, so now we've got three crests, which is enough to open the door if I remember correctly. I apologize. And we don't need these acid rounds, so we'll just dump those up here. I suppose we should take a healing item though, since I am prone to getting hit. And actually, now that I think of it, we should probably take the key as well. If we can use it up, that'll be real nice. Alright, so we're on the left side. We need to head back to the right side to open up the back area. And I'm not sure if we can get anywhere else that we can't go right now. That we couldn't go before, sorry. Too clever for that zombie. Wait, did I go the wrong way? I did go the wrong way. Well, not so clever after all.
There's one other room I have to try to remember the location of. And that is the tiger statue room. There's a little tiny one on here somewhere. It's actually back in that hallway we just came from. So let's do something real quick before we continue on our way. We did vandalize that statue and push it off the edge, and that lets us grab this. that back to that hallway to that tiger statue and insert it we don't actually need both the blue eye and the red eye to get an effect out of it I may have actually forgotten that you needed four crests. Again, it's a little confusing for me because in the remake you're not collecting crests at this point in the game, you're collecting the four masks. Still can't open this with a shield key, right? No, no, it's an armor key door. So we don't really have space to pick anything up. An object of art. That's all I can explain it as. Hmm, well, we can fit that in our inventory. Is it stacks? Some ink ribbon, though we don't really need that. We've got plenty. Some herbs, and a door. Oh. That door right there, I believe, is the door you get unlockable costumes from. After beating the game, you get a costume door key, and then you can go to that closet to change your costume. At least I think so. And that's why it has the special message instead of just saying it's locked. There might be something behind this guy, actually. <laughs> Some shotgun shells. Which we can't carry, because we have all these bloody crests. Really, our first priority right now, instead of exploring, though I easily get distracted, is dumping off these crests so that we have space in our inventory. Because while we do have the items necessary to progress to the next area, there are still a few things we can uh, finish up here in the mansion. Now, there should be another locked door up here. Hmm. 
Maybe not locked. Have I really never tried to open this door? Hmm. Very ominous music. Ah, oh, the balcony. I remember this area, though I forgot where it was. Where we find another one of our team members. Forrest Speyer here is another one of the Bravo team members. Who was eaten by crows. Perhaps the lamest way to go. These crows are also really hard to hit. You kind of have to get them to fly in towards you and then shoot them. I can try to hit him manually. Nope. There we go. So Forrest is very dead. However, he does have like, something nice for us, which may explain why he got killed by crows, since his weapon is a grenade launcher. Or bazooka, rather. Though it basically is a grenade launcher. Which takes multiple different kinds of ammo, as we've already collected. And is super helpful for boss killing. We could have probably taken down Yawn fairly easily with that. For some reason, I thought we had to get something to get that, though. Or, you know. This zombie seems to have moved down the hall. He was at the other end before. I believe this is the right door, yep. <laughs> Judging by the crickets. Okay, we do have to deal with this dog because we ran away last time. <laughs> Luckily, they're pretty easy to stun lock at that distance. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. The wind part seems a little disconnected, that's why I was confused about there being four crests. All the other ones are heavenly bodies, and then it's like, WIND! Yep, yep, I know, I know. I already read it once. Don't need to read it again, I meant to... Put another crest in. And this opens up a new area. There is one door I want to check back here, though, first. Actually, you know what? We'll check the first room before going back. Because there's a few items we can pick up. In this gardening shed. There's a crank up there, but we can't reach it. Luckily, there is also some steps. I'm not sure how many uh, places... 
in the world have just random pushable steps lying around. It's like, why not just make the shelves a little shorter? Nope. Forward, Jill. Forward. Well, I'm not really sure how she's pushing that, I guess, with her knee. But okay. So it's a crank, and if we check it, it should say what shape it is. Square shaped, because we will be finding multiple cranks. So you wouldn't want to mix them up. There would be more in here. Let's venture back quickly because I do want to check something. I think there was another armor door we could have opened back there. Perhaps the last one. done this one. That's just a painting puzzle. It's not that door. Okay, it should be this one on the left, then. And carving of a helmet. Okay, helmet key. Where do we need to use this armor key? Hmm. Suppose it could be that hallway on the end there. Possibly that little room in the center right. I think that room that I'm talking about is the costume room, so you can't actually do anything with it. Yeah, that or it is one of these areas up here. There we go. I guess that solves that problem. Got some hounds out here. Because they're short, they're kind of hard to hit at long range. Kind of shoot right over them. That is a lot of green herbs. I don't know why I can't pick them up kind of walking through them. Two greens is not as effective as a green and red. Uh, you need three greens for that, but you don't really want to make three greens because it's kind of a waste. Anything else here? Anything by this rusty boiler? Nothing strange. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna bother with you. These dogs are just distractions. Should reload our gun, though. Hmm. Now what to do, what to do. I think we'll head back to the save room. Save up and then head off into the backyard next episode. Where I'm sure wonderful things await us.
we're finally getting into the mansion. Well, finally, four episodes in. But, uh, it's not the last of the mansion we'll be seeing for the whole game. Still, a change of scenery would be nice for a while. Shotgun doesn't belong there. I certainly don't need the grenade launcher for now. shotgun on us for our initial exploration of the outdoors. Alright, so that'll do it for episode 4. We failed to get revenge for Richard, but we'll get another opportunity in future. And now we've gotten all the crests we need and we can pretty much leave the mansion for a while. I've been Shadefire, and I will see you next time in the great bout. I was going to say great outdoors and backyard at the same time. Either of the above will do.